evening, traders from across the globe. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. It's my first video back from the Indy 500. Rock and roll for the Indy 500 race. I saw a lot of empty seats and an empty track, but I was there. Uh, we'll talk about that some other time. Video number 2,418 coming at you tonight, Tuesday night for trading Wednesday, June 1st, 2022. And guess what? That puts me to three years and ten months before Bitcoin hits 85,000 kids. Just hang out with me. You've seen the magic work last time, right? Just sit tight. In fact, I think Bitcoin can get upwards near 35,000 in this next couple of days, the way it's been rallying. But there is one thing. Bitcoin tends to lately follow the stock market, and that's a bad thing. You know why? Because put your stops in first, never trade without them so you don't find out just how bad it is, but let me explain. It's not going to happen. That's the purpose of this video tonight. It is not going to happen. I left that message for my Omniac starting Monday morning through Tuesday, and in my every day, of course, I put out an Omni trading recommendation on my site, and it says what I've got in mind, whether I think the market goes up or down on the left side. Then on the right side, as I start updating my real-time recommendations, you see where I want to get in and out. Well, what I put on the left side is we're not trading, but I'm telling you right now it's not going to happen. What's not going to happen, Oscar? Well, let me tell you. We cannot, we cannot, cannot have 115 to 119 at 119.99, dollar crude today, 119.99. We cannot have 115 to 119 dollar crude oil prices with a simultaneously rising stock market. No way, it is not going to happen, kids. I'm here to tell you the holiday reversal is over, and if crude stays at these levels, there's no shot we're going to continue running higher in the stock market. It doesn't work that way. Then on top of that, remember. The Fed is not trying to help an ailing market. It is trying to slow down a runaway train by raising interest rates. And it is slowly doing that. And inflation is coming down out of metals and out of some grains. It's coming down out of a lot of useful products that we use in industry. So inflation is slowly backing off, but not in this department, kids. And you cannot have this price in crude and a stock market going up. It is not going to happen. A couple of days, yes, during our holiday reversal, that made sense. We expected that. For it to continue and just rally with the price of crude this high, the stock market, no way. It's just not going to happen. So, a few days in a rally, maybe, which we've already seen, and now I think more downside will ensue. So I wanted you to know that. Please be careful what you're doing this week. We had a bunch of updates last week, but I called for the holiday reversal. It happened. That's over, technically. The next move now, both fundamentally and technically, should be lower in the stock market. So, does that mean tomorrow it can't rally a bit? Sure it can, but we're going to sell the rallies if we can get a fill. That's what the Omni wants us to do in E-mini S&P NASDAQ, and that's what we will do. Traders, I want to show you the charts that show you what's going on here and why we probably have to expect this very high price of gasoline which affects everything, everywhere. If it's not gasoline, it's diesel. You've got to use gas or diesel to go to a, a store that made a product, or I should say, go to a factory. You've got to bring... You hear that? That's an alert going off, kids. I'm going to get, you have to get out of this video. <laughs> Let me see where the markets are. I'm going to bring you some charts in just a moment with no further ado. Let's go. Look at some charts. Traders, I left you off last week stating we will get a holiday reversal because the last chart I showed you, we were on this bar right here, and it settled up here, and I said we are breaking out. Holiday reversal ensues, right? Boom, boom, boom. We go all the way up to here. But the holiday reversal is over because the holiday is over, and I say we head right back down into that channel. The Omni has flipped to red for E-mini S&P, so no worry there. Look at the Russell 2000, comes all the way up to an average where it tends to have trouble. Boom! And Omni flips to a sell signal after the holiday reversal comes to an end. Memorial Day was the holiday, we went through it, three-day market was closed, and now we're expecting more downside. Now, here's my point. You see how the markets cannot seem to rally very far? Do you know why? Because crude literally exploded from 114 and went to 119.99 today. You cannot have the stock market going up with that sort of price in crude. But there is a double top, and I think 
we just took out the stops over the double top. So a few days back in crude now, might make sense, but crude is on the rise. And our current administration doesn't seem to want to do anything about letting more crude come out of the USA. So you'd have to expect, even if you get a pullback, crude is on the rise overall, kids. So that's the story. This, at the price it's at, cannot, cannot, cannot let the stock market just rally to the upside. It will not happen. It cannot happen. Proof is right there in the charts. Traders, remember when you're trading out there, get those stops in and then say to yourselves, stops are in.